Elise Bronzo. And I'm Javier Calvo. And you are welcome to this week's edition of Gate Update. To Junior Javier Diaz, the racist graffiti found in Alumni Hall was the final incident that convinced him that a document long overdue needed to be created to address these issues. The result was the Colgate Creed, which he solely authored after a period of three months of drafting and meeting with faculty members. The Creed is a commitment to respecting and embracing racial, religious, and sexual diversity, among others. It will be included in the student handbook starting next semester. Attention all townhouse residents! Make sure you lock your doors this weekend. There is a fire extinguisher maniac on the loose. Multiple students have reported late night weekend attacks on the interior of their townhouses. Allegedly, an unknown individual has been breaking into the townhouses, taking the fire extinguisher, and spraying the common rooms, kitchens, and bathrooms at a rate of two townhouses per weekend. For the sake of the janitors and residents, please contact Campus Safety with any information you may have that could lead to the perpetrator. Renowned African-American educator, activist, and writer Angela Davis spoke to the Colgate community at the Memorial Chapel last Tuesday, February 24th. The title of her lecture was Violence Against Women and the Ongoing Challenge of Racism and Frameworks for Radical Feminism in the 21st Century. Davis's lecture was sponsored by SORT, Sisters of the Round Table, for Africana Women's Week. Vice President and Dean of the College, Charlotte Johnson, said of Davis, Growing up in the 60s, Angela Davis was the woman. Friday night at the Palace Theater, Suzanne Willett will perform Feminazi, a comedy which she wrote as well. The comedy is about empowered women, intimidated men, and how these roles have been played out throughout history. Tickets for the 9 p.m. show are $5 for students and $10 for general audiences. The fifth seeded women's ice hockey team traveled to Hanover, New Hampshire to face the Dartmouth Big Green in the first best out of three ECAC hockey quarterfinal series. The Raiders took the first game 7-6. Despite the good start, Dartmouth would go on to win the series and advance to the semifinals, thus ending the women's ice hockey season. The 2008-2009 season will be remembered for many broken records and Coach Wiley's 100th win. Despite her concussed state over the past few weeks, Trisha Oaks managed to make it onto the Patriot League All-Rookie roster for this season. Oaks was named the Patriot League Rookie of the Week six times. Had she collected just two more awards for the season, she would have tied the all-time record of eight, set by Bucknell's Lindsey Holliba. Oaks has started 20 games for the Raiders this season and, in league play, averaged 9.8 points and 6.7 rebounds per game. The Raiders squad heads to the Patriot League tournament this weekend as the ultimate underdog, placing last in the league. Colgate's men's lacrosse team has faced what is arguably their toughest schedule ever. Two weeks ago, the Raiders headed to North Carolina to face two of the best teams of the nation, Duke and Chapel Hill. The Raiders put up a tough fight, losing the first game by a difference of one goal and the second by a difference of two. Entering their first weekend of Patriot League play, the men come from a loss on the road against UMBC. This Saturday, the Raiders will face Holy Cross at 3 p.m. Thank you for watching. If your group has events that you would like to promote, email us at cutv at mail.colgate.edu. For more on these and other stories, check out colgate.edu and stay tuned for next week's edition of Gate Update, where, where you're, you're always, always in the know. know.